You know, for me, hey guys, it's TJ Granny, KOZ. Um, I am in Virginia, just finished some conference work, and uh, I was within 30 minutes of the Appalachian Trail, App Appalachian Trail, and I just couldn't not come here and spend my morning hiking, walking, praying, talking, thinking about you guys and thinking about what all this stuff means. And you know, one thing that I uh, really re realize about my heart is that I'm so drawn to the outdoors, especially the mountains, mountain creeks. And you know, I try to put that into context. Why, why is that? Why is an old boy from the bios of Houston so drawn to the mountains, the sound of the creeks, the cool air coming off the mountains and why does that why does that just capture me? And what I realize is that uh, when I was young, when I was little, before my family split up, one of the things that my dad did well, my mom and dad did well, was they took us to the mountains. We drove from Houston, Texas, to Colorado, to California, Wyoming. They did the station wagon tour of the national parks and the mountains. And, and what happens in those times when we're little and we feel loved and safe and, and, and uh, as boys, exploration and uh, adventure is, is weaved into our hearts. We are drawn to that stuff. And, uh, and I think, and I'm, I'm sure that's why when I am near the mountains or in a place like this or close to a place like this, I'm so drawn to it. And I, I feel so, um, peaceful and, um, it just, it's a, it's an amazing thing. And and we have to look at those places in our hearts that um, draw us in and give us those feelings, where those feelings come from. And, uh, and I don't know what yours are, but they sure speak to you. And uh, so th think through those things. Talk to Jesus about what are those times, what are those places that he speaks to you and visit those places. Um, I'm not talking about the broken places and the hurt. I've been back to those places and I've gotten peace and I've walked through the emotion of those places. But I'm saying there's places, there's some place that gives you joy and find those places and visit those places. Make it a point to visit those places and, uh, and enjoy that time with your heart. And one of the things that we get to do with boys is we're gonna place these things in boys' hearts that don't have these opportunities in front of them. We're gonna place these things in front of them. These weekends or Saturdays or whatever that is, when you take your KOZ boys out and you camp overnight or you go somewhere and you hike all day long and then you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches on the trail and just create these markers in their hearts that they will return to when they are I am going to be 60 in about two weeks and it is just amazing to me how these markers are still so poignant I can taste it and so what you're doing man be be intentional about placing these markers in the boys hearts and uh, and just no, what you're doing is so good and it's going to last so much further than just your time with the boys. You may have a boy just for a month or two or three months and uh, be intentional about placing markers. He'll go back to those. He'll go back to them. It's a beautiful thing. Jesus does not allow, he, he does not let the fruit go bad. So I love you guys. I, I just really appreciate the opportunity to walk this trail with you guys, this KOZ trail with you guys, and know that you're not walking alone, that, uh, that we're walking with you guys. Jesus is with you. Regulators, let's mount up.